today we are at Super TV to see behind the scenes and learn how they do it. So that's the idea. I hope it's gonna go amazing because I really can't wait. I really can't wait. I have Ivan and Mutomi here. Can you say hi? I deal with graphics, everything that you see on screen, the stripes, names, the background uh, during the games, that's me. That's what I do on a daily basis. I come in, I update my graphics, I make sure everything is on point. Well, everything is well, but sometimes I come across challenges when the, the system shuts down or maybe it crashes. I have to like restart it, resize everything, and yeah, it gets hectic. But otherwise, everything is well, everything is super. We're just setting up some effects for the shirts now. This is our director. The more you rush, the more you flow. You rushing is you killing the whole crew that's here. So if the director is not calm, then you have to know that whatever the director is doing, it, the whole crew, it's a mess. A lot of things can go wrong when you're like, when you're talking about a different story and you have a different graphic that that doesn't relate to the to the story, it's a problem. So you have to be you have to prepare early. That's why we come very early to to work. One and we like a fun way. I'm doing VT and the uh, schedule. Andy Lake can, can actually run the show. I won because what we do there, we take the it show. and we save it this side. So he can send whatever he has there on television. We can have three days off with, oh. while playing the VT because of Andy Lake. So what he does is as much as, much as the director is important, but if my VT operator is not ready, that means good thing. Nothing is ready. Yeah, I'm playing like the, the shows um, in between. If we have like 30 minutes or one hour break, so I do play one of the, uh, I do repeat one of the shows uh, for one hour and change in between some breaks, so like two minutes. And we count the studio. In fact, I count the director. The director count the studio. That's what I do every day. We have things, we have promos, and all that comes from under the side. So that's been done by Andy, and then I'm striping and all that. That's graphic that's coming from the lady behind me, Siswa Mazaza. My name is Tsulu Kule. I am brand new here, six days old. Right now, I'm just guest shadowing everyone from the control to the production to the presenting. So I'm just keeping an eye on everything and trying to learn as much as I can. I learned that it's not adverts, it's BT. <laughs> and like the sounds, there's a lot that happens in the sound. But I did learn that without one person, the whole thing would crumble. So. Uh, teamwork, I guess. Every person has a role and every role is important. So it's not just about the glamour. The smaller the number, the more likely the outcome that represents the favorites. My name is Tepupo and I am one of the presenters. Uh, shows that I do, we, we do all the shows. Like literally we do all the shows from the live games to the super chats, which are our interviews with our guests. Uh, we do pretty much everything. And I enjoy the live more than pre-records. Actually, here's the thing. We treat the pre-records the same as lives anyway. Yeah. We do one hit or so one takes and we're done with them. So we pretty much treat everything as a live. And I enjoy that because we get to engage with the people on time, live, as it's happening. So when we fumble, we fumble together. We laugh about it and then we move on. So my name is Robert Masakwana. I am a makeup artist. I do makeup for Super TV. Well, I love makeup, guys. I don't know um, how to explain the love I have for makeup. Um, sometimes you get that um, somebody must be live now and you're not yet done with that face. When that day you look at that, right? you look at them on the TV, and you know that this is your responsibility. It hurts me. Let's play poker. No. <laughs> My name is Rufuno. I am the live sound operator. I just uh, toy around with whatever I have to make the uh, show more interesting by adding some sound effects which the presenter don't like because I make fun of them a lot. So when they lose, I play those funny sounds. When they win, I play those uh, 
funny songs so they get excited. I'm really excited for this one, guys. I'm sure you've seen him, you've seen him. Uh, we had been doing the show for like two years, uh, just pushing, you know, pushing numbers and pushing content. So when the Super Bits, Super TV deal came on the table, it was uh, a blessing because, uh, you know, um, finally we could, you know, afford to pay staff and, and, and do other things that we couldn't do and get an exposure to another market that you won't necessarily get on YouTube, you know, because in the current climate of the country, not everybody has access to data. So this kind of relationship was just a made a match made in heaven. Yeah. It doesn't mean. I mean, you, like, not to like give away your age or anything, but I'm like, I grew up listening. Like, I think grand like, is. is <laughs> you don't have to do big. You don't have to do magic. You just have to make sure that you only want to in life. They find there's their place in life because seeing a band, we don't know what we want at the moment. Someone out there is a bit confused with what is it that I'm supposed to do. So, Tina we are here, and if we we see talent, we make sure with the world recognizes a talent or the matter. That's why we are here. I am William Gwedo. I'm a presenter on Super TV, and today we have our guest, which is Linda. <laughs> What's good, ladies and gents? This is a boy, Lindo, aka Diddy Gabaldo, aka the coolest dad in the country. I eat things with the inside, I'm trying to come in to perform my new singer, Uno Malizo. I'm being here to have a lot of fun, I'm going to show some shots to me, guys. Yeah! I'm going to win, I'm going to win. Uh, I'm the head of Super TV. Uh, I manage everything here. Um, we've just been shooting a Christmas special. That's why there's a Christmas hat on the logo. Love it here. Uh, we've got about 32 staff. It's my job to keep them focused, pumping, chilling out great content. I love them. They're amazing. So culture is really, really important to us. And we don't just, you know, say that. We don't write it on the walls. And talk about our culture. Our culture is really amazing. And staff here will run through walls for each other, which is a big part of, of sort of the mandate given to us by Superbets when we first started. Um, Forti, the CEO, made it very clear from the beginning that, that the culture in the building was very important to him. And uh, I'd like to say that we've, we've done a really great job on that. Good evening and welcome to More Sports. Tonight we look a lot different because we took a step above and we're now in our new studios. This is our new home. This is where More Sports will be coming to you live every night from tonight on. So before I get my before I get ahead of myself, what should you expect on tonight's show? We'll be talking Bundesliga Premier League and we have our first guest here on More Sports in studio. So don't go anywhere. This is More Sports. There's a lot of excitement again for me to see the, the crew excited at the prospect of what they can create in a studio like this is, is great for me. This is a, a new addition to the studios that we've got here. There'll be another games room that we're building at the moment. As you'll probably see in this video, there's lots of ladders and plastering and all sorts of things going on around the studios at the moment because we're growing and we, we're still fairly new as a channel. So it's always exciting to add new additions to the setup in the form of studios and other innovations. Super chuffed with the studio and glad that the guys were in here today using it for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. So we should be going live. Why are we not going live? What does he mean? Everything that you see here on on live shows. It's done here, so that's why my desk is such a mess, as you can see. I'm all over, so it's a pot head, got my desk, I've got laptop open at the same time. So I'm a multitasker. My name is Dumbadi Yatsen van Feren. I'm a production coordinator here at Super TV. So I run around and make sure that everything goes as it should. If something happens, I have to make sure that we've got a solution for it. That is my job. Okay, so he's in the lead by Today is really great. Like, yo, it's an eye opener. I feel so motivated. I feel encouraged. Guys, what we see, people are living out there, okay? Like, what we see, 
the behind the scenes i feel very educated though because i didn't know about like how lighting has to be up there and not like directly in front of you <laughs> all i knew is that the light has to be behind the camera and like today i learned a lot about staging setups camera angles lighting angles like so many things being around this facility the studios are top notch the green screen lighting it's so good i wish someone can lock me up in here for a month the content that i'll create <laughs> crazy i was also always worried and considering how do they get the sports stuff going because you'd see it online and people are playing games and having to see how it's been done and shot it was eye-opening and it was very good we should also be calling rain because rain wow wow my name is mo as you can see the title of the show is mo sports so basically we're talking about everything football here we talk about all the top five european leagues and we talk about psr occasionally we talk about continental competition like uefa and europa and cap so basically our show is just definitely just looking at it is key we love soccer through and through but what makes our show special is that we're looking at the odds the predictions the bets so we make money and we lose money occasionally sometimes like this midweek we put money on side of money to score two goals score the first and the last goal and as you know we didn't score any goals so hey we lost money but that's what the show is all about so if you want to know where to put your money basically if you're a super best person and you put money on football if you want to get a little bit of backside like background information make sure to tune into more sports taking place Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, Mondays, and on Wednesdays from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. with myself, Mo. And as you can see, there's my wingman, the man with the mouse, the man making sure that you get everything on the website, Mr. OB Knows. It shows that we have only you by the We always be number one. My name is Innocent Ayoba Yo Mayoyo, uh, ex professional footballer. Uh, I've played in this country for 13 professional teams from 1988 to 2005. I was signed by Orlando Pirates when I was 20, and then I was the youngest goalkeeper in South Africa. Uh, the teams that I've played for, I've played for Orlando Pirates, I've played for Pushbacks, I've played for Quarkwasters, I've played for Val Professionals, I've played for Bloemfontein Celtics, I've played for Santos, and I've played for Ajax Cape Town. Uh, that's where I started coaching as an under-15 coach, the player called Tulane Serrero was my under-12. In fact, I took Serrero in Johannesburg to Cape Town. Uh, presently, I'm the president of the Sports Confederation, Guatemala. I'm the president of the local football association. I'm the founder and the owner of Ayobayo Youth Soccer Academy, based in Springs, uh, established 2008 up to date. Soccer is just what I do and it's my passion. It's my bread and butter. I don't just do soccer for fun. Yes, I've been a player, I've been a coach, but today I'm an administrator. Someone will ask again and say, then why did you to play for one? And I would have loved to play for one, but generally speaking, today being a coach, it tells you that hey, this man has been very, very much outspoken. You go to places and you feel like you've seen a lot and you've learned a lot until you get to a place where everything is done in the same place, like sound, the mixing of live uh, shows, and the recording of shows, pre-recordings. It's one of those things when you experience them, you're like, how did that happen? Who came up with this idea? Who's putting the money in this? You get it? And that makes you feel like... Classified. Yeah, you feel like you are in a, in a world that no one has been in before. It's us. You know, yeah. you know what yeah. that means, right? That means someone is about to get humiliated and divorced. Yeah. I came here just for the experience. And what I loved about it is when I had ideas, people listened. And those ideas actually worked. And then I realized from all the watching everyone else, from actually asking them if I can actually take control of being a safety officer inside full. It, it just grew me so much and at like such a fast rate. And I'm loving it now. Every single day I look forward to coming to work. Even though it's just like, it's a grind every day. You gotta make sure everything, because I mean, it's live television. If you mess up, you gotta come up with a plan for the mess ups to make sure it looks like it's the flow. What I love the most about the job, uh, watching everyone grow around me, watching the look on their face when they realize they can do something that maybe they never thought they could, they could do. 
getting everyone to understand each other's roles and even try each other's roles out from time to time so that they can understand what the person next to them goes through on a daily basis. Uh, empowerment is important. Building a diverse and inclusive management structure underneath me is important. And what I love about this place is that everyone's very warm and welcoming and uh, willing to help me learn stuff. So there's there's no like cold shoulder. I love the love here. It feels like family. We love each other. We care about each other. When you get here every day, they can tell if you're not happy. And they are there for you. They want to like, help as much as they can to make you feel better. I just love it. I know the entertainment industry is full of like, people who look for themselves. Like, they don't care about the other person. Like, greedy people. You know? But the love here is so amazing. Like, I don't know what to do.